Hi, I'm Mike, and you're watching Behind the Bass. Today, we're joined by the amazing Louis III. He's a musician and songwriter from Croydon who's drawn heavy praise from heavy hitters like Radio 1, IT, and Louis Vuitton. He's fresh from a sold out show at Pizza Express Live. But how is he going to fare making a pizza of his own? Let's find out. Louis, welcome to the kitchen. Thank you for having me, right? Are you feeling confident about your pizza making skills? Um, no, not at all. Okay. No. Well, that's okay. Well, I'll walk you through. Okay. We're going to get I'll straight in. We're going to get straight into it then. So get your fingers yeah. into the flour. Yeah. We're going to cover our dough in lots of flour. Yeah. Flour is your friend. Flour is my friend. And you're going to take just the tips of your fingers and push down firmly around the edge, just like that. Okay. In a circle. Nice. And then you can work your way up the middle. Oh, it feels very rubbery. It does, but it's going to taste better than that. Okay. So, Louis, I think it's fair to say that you are uh, a music fan. Actually, one of the things you can talk about is, is how your family were quite integral to that. You tell a story yeah. about your mum listening to Bob Marley yeah. when you were younger. What were those sort of uh, early years like for your sort of formative years musically? Um, so, it's actually quite funny because my mum's German mm -hmm. and my dad's from the Caribbean. Okay, it's an uh, interesting mix. My dad hates Bob Marley. Oh, really? Yeah. My mum loves Bob Marley. And so, uh, she would always be playing Bob Marley and just like, a really weird dance, but she kind of dances like that. Nice. Uh, and she'd be dancing around the house. Uh -huh. uh, and then, yeah, my dad played a lot of classical music. Nice. So it's actually my mum that kind of uh, gave me more of my influences. And my sisters as well. Mm -hmm. They were big, uh, they love soca and like reggae and nice. dancehall. Um, yeah, and more indie acts as well. So Excellent. Kind of got that from them. Did you get your dancing from your mum or from your dad? Uh, I'd like to think I didn't because I would never dance in public ever again. <laughs> Excellent. Then we're going to hold it in one hand like this, right. and then dust it off with the other, and then you can sort of pass it back and forth, okay. just like that. It looks like you've done that before. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and you can keep passing it back and forth, and then if you just hold on to that, I'll go and, and do take... I throw it, do I throw it that way dramatically as well? Uh, you can hold on to it if you like. Okay. There will be some throwing going on okay, soon, okay. don't you worry. I always say it's not real pizza unless it's been tossed in the air, just like that. Okay. Do you want to have a go at tossing it up in the air? Um, yeah. It's, it's quite straightforward. All you want to do is sort of have a grip like this and you're going to sort of flick your fingers out and twist your wrist. Okay, I do it with two hands, it's a bit easier. There we go. Okay, and the catch, I, very I good. I feel more like that as a pancake. I can't That's okay. A... I reckon you could, yeah. You've yeah. got the spin. Now let's yeah. see how high you can get it. Very good. God, this is exhausting. So you do this like how many times in an evening? Or... Hundreds and wow. hundreds of times. That's it. Okay, so if you want to drop your dough in your pan, bit like I've done. What's that on the edge? So this is Carlo. It's just a mix of oil and flour. Helps it stick. This is your Nigella moment. Time, okay. to get, time to get saucy. We're going to get saucy and now. I'm just going to drop some in the middle. Spread that sauce. And then we just want to gently spread it out. All the way. Leave a bit of a, a crust. And that's how we do it. Okay. How much? How much? As much as you like, really. I'd say that's a good amount. Yeah? Yeah. Just spread. Oh, yeah. Thoughtfully. <laughs> Sensually. There we go. Excellent. And then we can put some toppings on. So we're doing the Lorraine today, which I understand is your favourite pizza. That is my favourite pizza. Um, so yeah, we start with a the ham, then we can go to mushroom, then we can go to olives. I'll let you take the lead. So we mentioned a bit earlier that you've got lots of musical influences. Uh, you talk about the XX and Frank Ocean. Love the XX. Also Love Frank Ocean. some cult heroes like uh, Jay Paul. Yeah. Um, wh why is it important for you to have sort of a wide range of influences? I think it's related to the fact that really I just Oh, yours, your hands are a lot, a lot bigger here. Okay. Yours is bigger than mine. Um, I am just a music fan, first mm. of all. And I just love the feeling that I get from, uh, from music. And sometimes I work with people and uh, they only really listen to their own music. Okay. I don't really understand that because I just, I just get such a buzz from, uh, from all those kind of influences and from uh, just what music can do to you. So I'm like a sponge and I uh, absorb all the musicians that I love listening to. Mm. Every time I see someone live, I'll get a new idea, and uh, yeah, I kind of like to triangulate between all these different influences, so my sound kind of has some of the more electronic, like left-leaning stuff of the XX, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the weird elements of Jay Paul, uh, some of the more uh, aggressive kind of uh, uh, provoking elements of Kanye, mm -hmm. like the songwriting, like Tracy Chapman and stuff like that, I mean, I wish, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I kind of... Uh, I just want to absorb as much music as mm -hmm. possible and it's part of uh, why I love music. Yeah. I think I want you to do the, the cheese and I want, okay. you to, I want to see your interpretation. Mm. There we go. So we're sort of talking about new technologies like, like TikTok. TikTok. And you played a festival last year, the Metaverse Festival. Yes. What was that like? Yeah. That must have been an interesting experience. That was interesting. And I, uh, 
So I filmed my bit in a studio mm. in Camberwell. Okay. People log into the metaverse mm -hmm. and they, uh, they take like a, a tunnel into the world of the festival. Okay. Uh, I went into the metaverse to watch it, but I'm on like a big screen. <laughs> and I see all these people and with their avatars. Mm. And you can like press the dance button. So I was watching and there's all these like avatars like dancing like this to, to my music and it was just bloody bizarre. It's a bit of an interesting trend. Um, sort of culturally, I think, where kind of people are moving in one direction to sort of like vinyl is like bigger than ever, mm. and like veganism and like organic food is really popular, and secondhand clothing and vintage and thrifting is really popular. That's like a really tangible sort of, uh, you know, uh, analog sort of way of living. But then also, we've got stuff like the metaverse, AI now, and, and like crypto that's sort of pulling the other direction. Where do you sort of fit into all, into all of this? I am more, I'd like to think that I'm more of a kind of a physical, long-lasting, uh, touchy kind of thing. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I'm not like mad at the metaverse and stuff like mm. that. I can kind of, uh, I can see where it's going, but I'll always be a in person with concert. Um, so you're going to perform a song to us uh, today. I am. Sun on Sundays. I can you am. tell us a bit about that song? Uh, Sad on Sundays is a song I wrote about the feeling of like, you know, when you're at a party and like you're, just, you're enjoying yourself, and suddenly, like, this party's gonna end. Or uh, on the weekend, you have the same feeling. Or even just you're with someone or on a holiday. And uh, I got to a point where I was just stopping enjoying things because I was so worried about their ending. Mm. Um, so, Rex and Sundays about that feeling of uh, robbing joy from yourself, basically. Interesting. Yeah. But I understand you're quite keen on sort of rewriting songs and yes. sort of taking them apart and putting yes. them back together, which I imagine would be quite a therapeutic experience. It is really yeah. therapeutic as well. And what I've realised is, is that uh, it requires me to have empathy pe for people that I otherwise wouldn't. How did you first sort of start to get into doing that? I first started with uh, there's a song by Jasmine Sullivan which goes, I bust the windows out your car. Uh -huh. And that was literally about uh, someone cheating on her and then her busting the windows out of the car. Yep. And then I was like, oh, I'll do the guy who's got his car busted. Yeah. And then that went really viral. And then I was like, oh, I'll do the car, because the car's probably not very happy. <laughs> wow, it's getting pretty, uh, pretty And out people there. were like, this is amazing. And, I was, and because I'm a songwriter, I could kind of like, oh, I'm, just, I'm literally just changing lyrics. Like, because people were like, wow. Mm -hmm. um, so I kept doing it. And uh, yeah, it got, it got some of them got really, really big. And I've released some of them. And yeah. Uh, we can tell just by looking at you that you're. You're a stylish guy, you know, the way you hold yourself, the way you look after yourself. Thank you. Um, tell us about your sort of uh, first in foray into, into fashion. Into fashion. Uh, for my sins, I modelled since I was like 17. Uh -huh. And I hated it. Did you? I hated it, yeah, I hated it. Um, but I was kind of exposed to a lot of different brands in that kind of world, and uh, all the other models were really stylish. And I've always liked fashion. Um, so yeah, I've just kind of a uh, bit of a, uh, of a hype. Hype Bay? Hype Bay. Hype Bay. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Not as aggressive as a yeah, Hype Bay, yeah, sure enough. Yeah. And then the late great Virgil Abloh had you on the Louis Vuitton show. Yeah, that was that was insane. We, uh, my manager got an email from uh, Virgil's team saying, uh, is Louis V on this date? Uh, Virgil's a really big fan of his music and would like to know if you want to walk on the Louis Vuitton show. And we were both um, like, well, yeah, we were both like, we're not idiots. Like, who <laughs> sent us this email? Um, and then we looked into it and it was real. And it was, yeah, yeah. I, I, they flew me over to, well, they trained me over to Paris. Yeah, and then I walked the show with like other artists like Deb Hines, who I'm obsessed with. And I really wanted to talk to him, but in like true Deb Hines style, he was just reading a book the whole time. Like, <laughs> he was getting his makeup done and he was reading a book. And he was like in the like green room behind, he was reading a book, and I didn't want to interrupt him. Joe, that, maybe that's the move, you're like, no one talks to me. Yeah, he wasn't even reading. Yeah. Was, like, his phone's <laughs> under there. And he's like, uh, we can't have you here and not ask you to, to do the Super Mario thing whistle that you can do. I understand you can whistle it to your teeth. I can play Super Mario on my teeth. Go on, let's yeah. have it. That's so much better than I was right. expecting. The problem is when I do that, not only do I look so ugly, but also like I have to breathe through my nose. Should we put these in the oven? Let's do it. Okay, excellent. So, I can only feel the heat from the oven. I know, it's hot, yeah. and a, on a hot day as well. Yeah. So, what you want to do is just start it on the ledge and then just push it in. That's all the way in. Yeah, don't touch the oven. Excellent. Is that enough? That's perfect. Okay. okay, so this is Pizza Express, which means things go 
pretty fast. Cool. And that oven will cook dead quick. So while we're waiting for it to cook, we're gonna do a quick fire round. Hit me. Watch the throne or my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Yes. Blonde or channel orange? Channel orange. Ziggy Stardust or the Thin White Duke? Ziggy Stardust. Outcast or the Black Eyed Peas? Oh, Outcast. Old Kanye or new Kanye? Old Kanye. Excellent. Flew through them. Well yeah. done. They're, they're easy. Let's check these pizzas out then. Okay, I think we're about done. Okay. I'm gonna give that to you. Okay. In underneath. Nice and firm. Level and then flat on the surface there. Yeah. Very nice. There we go. Yep, yep. Very gently. I'm gonna take it across. There's a plate for you. It looks like an actual pizza. It does. You did a, you did a fantastic job. There we go. We can put these back on top of the oven. Superb. I'm going to give you a slicer. Okay. I'm going to have one too. So can this, I go in? Yeah, you can go in. Excellent. Wow. You're really committed to that. That is exactly yeah. the that's exactly the move. This is my favourite bit. I don't like cooking, but I like eating. <laughs> Excellent. Wow, you're putting me to shame. Look at you go. Oh, you go that way. I do go that way. Okay, I do do that. That works then, hey? Yeah? All right. Should we have a little little slice? Already? Yeah. Okay. It's quite hot. It's quite hot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cheers. Cheers. Come on. Cheers. Boom. Okay. Mm. Happy with that? Very happy. Delicious. Tastes like Eastern Express. That's what we wanted. Yeah. Spend time with all my flaws, the friends I've known for years. Some like to keep in touch while others disappear. I'm impatient and direct, I'm jealous and take risks. Some I could change, others remain. But I still hate to say goodbye. Do you get sad on Sundays too? Then you might just be like me Cause I get sad on Sundays Let's go down, I don't want it to end And when the last song plays, can we start it again? Cause I get sad on Sundays too Only psychopaths can kick back on the last day of a holiday Cause it's like letting the seat back when the plane's about to land And each full stop feels like a word I lost And each goodbye is a tear I don't wanna cry So I hate to say goodbye Do you get sad on Sundays too? Ooh, well then you might just be like me Cause I get sad on Sundays too Well then you might just be like me Cause I get sad on Sundays oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Trick turned three years into goodbye. We acted like the men we were supposed to be. So much left to say, but we didn't speak. To well, then you might just be like me. Cause I get sad on Sundays too. Then you might just be like me Cause I get sad on Sundays too